Archpriest Sergei Baranov Seek God Sermon after the Night Liturgy March 26th, 2022 Today, we stand here in this church, people from different parts of our country. We have met and we exist for one another. But if it has not happened by a twist of fate, we would not even know that this or that person exists. A person did not appear in my life, does not exist in my destiny, and I do not know him or her at all. There is a number of people in the world whom we have not met and who have not come across us. They simply do not exist for us. We have never seen and we will never see them. We do not know anything about them and will never know. They exist in the terms of history, but personally for us, they do not. Sometimes the same happens to a human and God. People have not met God. God has not crossed their lives. And thus, God does not exist for them. Even if they have heard something from some people who shared their experience about him, as long as God has not crossed my life, he does not exist for me. Moreover, it is good if I hear something about him. But if I live among the unfaithful, I do not even touch upon the issue of God. However, none of this means that God does not exist. He exists. The matter is that I have not met him. For many people who go to church, there is no God. They have the issue of God and the idea of God. They have heard something from somebody, but God has not appeared in their lives. We should compel ourselves to seeking God. Otherwise, we may walk past him. In this case, we will not be unlike, or we will be very much like, the unfaithful. We will be those who sympathize with somebody's experience and faith, but we will not have God in our lives. If I do not have a contact with God, and if I do not communicate with the person of God, then this God will die for me. The only thing left from him will be an idea. It will be a good and joyous idea, but it will be nothing but an idea. That is why tonight's service is so symbolic. We have served a liturgy to St. Simeon, the new theologian, whose main message was to compel oneself in order to find and meet God. We should not only learn something about God, but really meet him and let him appear in our lives. All our spiritual life should be dedicated to the meeting with God and letting him live in us. Glory to God now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.